important to learn these hand positions properly. This is the spear hand, hand position. Okay. Very simple, very simple, but you must tuck the thumb. Okay, nice and straight wrist. Okay. Straight punch, straight wrist. Okay, a little bit of a rise here. Wrap this joint of the thumb against the edge of this finger. Don't squeeze too tight, because it puts too much tension on the back of the hand. You can easily snap those bones. So what you're gonna do is just wrap it until you can't see your fingernails, okay? And directing power towards these two knuckles. Next, cutting palm. Bend your wrist back as far as you can and try and put the emphasis on the edge of the palm. This way. And also on the bottom of the palm, depending on the delivery of the strike. This way. Okay, it can be used to damage this muscle here, create pain in the arm, or it can be used just to create a structure of 45 degrees to penetrate beyond using the forearm to strike and then coming in to strike rib cage, liver, chest, what have you, with this edge of the palm. Or like I said, this could be dropping down on something squarely. Okay, next one is uh, open and stretching, which is like a, some people call it a dragon palm because it helps us to generate energy, but this is from the tiger system. This is a big L and pushing this, pushing this part of the hand down so that this muscle will flex creating power, support, okay? And exercising these tendons in the back of the hand by pulling the fingers back as far as they go. Not too wide, not like this, not like this. Thumb out in front so that it would easily fit around an object, okay? Also, we use this by sinking the elbow and bending the wrist back, we create a lever for anti-grasping, okay? Next one is bridge hand. It's a claw, basically, with one finger extended, okay? Some people do it very tight like this. I don't think this has very much value at all. It does develop the forearm a little bit, but we're the tiger claw system, so we're more preoccupied with the claw. This has a great deal of strength in the edge of the palm and the front of the thumb, okay? And even the web of these, uh, the, the index finger and the thumb uh, becomes very powerful, very strong. And these tendons in the back of the hand here become very, very strong. So that's bridge hand, or we call it Q-sao, which means um, iron bridge, okay? Uh, again, about spear hand, energy uh, is issued from the armpit to travel down into the fingertip. So you, no bending in the wrist. The tiger claw itself, well, actually, before we do tiger claw, this is a side palm. The side palm is used in uh, Fuhak and the salutation of the Fu Jiao Pai system. And the side palm is either done with straight fingers, very tight, very tight, and pull the wrist back and strike with the palm heel. Or it's also done uh, as a semi-tiger palm, like this, to accentuate the boot, the heel of the palm. Or it is done as an actual tiger palm, depending on your preference and what you want to work on that day. The tiger claw itself has three distinct C's. A, B, C, C, in case you didn't hear that. There's a C here, there's a C here, and there's a C here. Pinky looks at the thumb, okay. Usually when you do tiger claw, you don't bend your wrist all the way back, contrary to popular execution and belief, because it's useless. You can't use it. You want to be 45 degrees about here from the wrist and the fingers inserting. And the timing is very, very important. But most important is first to get the shape correct. So you've got your C, triple C here and here. Okay. So, and when you, there are many uses for tiger claw. So primarily, if you're going to do a downward claw, you're going to be entering using the forearm and striking with the center of the palm and then inserting, <laughs> inserting the claw. Okay, so those are um, some of the basic, this is a downward, I forgot to mention, downward cut. So you bend the wrist back 
primarily a 45 degree angle for the 90 here, pull back, okay. Uh, rising palm, now hide the thumb. It's like a ridge strike. You use this whole edge to strike. Uh, that's pretty much it for today. Thanks a lot, guys.